So one thing that's very important when having a model horse collection, um, if you're going to insure your collection, you should always save your receipts and your invoices. And if you buy any models from the model horse sales pages or through email, you should always save those, um, print them out, as well as save them on files on a computer. Um, so where I store all of my um, invoices and printouts is in this nifty accordion binder that I got at work. It was around five bucks. It has one side here that has all of the accordion style pockets. It has a zipper spot here if I need to keep anything in there. It also has this great thing because it's a business um, accordion binder is um, for CDs and I do keep um, track of all of my transactions electronically. I save um, PDF files of the model horse sales page ads so that way I have those same thing with eBay and I save them all on CD and I do keep them in this um, binder. I also have uh, a spot over here where I happen to have my let's get organized PDF so I know where it is. Um, I, you can divide this in any way that works well for you but I liked putting all of my information in sleeves because I felt that if they were loose they'd be all over the place under here and slipping underneath each of the individual pockets. So um, I put them, I have my COAs in here, um, original tags and um, box information. So like as an example here is my COA from one of my quarter horse stallions. Um, and I also have all of my briar information um, from my models. Now if you have a super large collection of OFs and you want to save all your box information and stickers and things like that, feel free to do more than one pocket. Um, I don't have a super lot of OFs um, so I just have all mine in one pocket. You can also, I also put all of my um, receipts and everything by type. So OF Plastic has its own, um, China, both OF and Custom, and so my I'm going to show you some of what my printouts look like. Um, here is my resins. I write on the plastic sleeves um, in marker what is in here so I know. Um, I save everything from the artists or from who I bought it from. In this case there was a card with one of them. Um, I save all the PayPal information um, for my transactions. Anything from particular studios when they send me an invoice. I, send, I save all of that. I also do printouts from the Model Horse sales pages and eBay. Um, and if I paid with a money order, I usually staple that to this. So what I do on my computer to save ink is I print out a draft so it doesn't print it in regular color. It prints it quickly and just gives me a basic idea in case I need to, you know, look at what a price was for a model or any information um, quickly. So I do this for all of them. Again, here's another Model Horse Sales Pages. Um, I, like I said, I do the same thing for email. So here's a Yahoo email, and I wrote the model at the top so I know what it was. It's good because you know who you bought it from. Um, I did the same thing with Auction Barn. So here's an I Auction Barn um, ad. Sales receipts, again, from collectors. And this is all stays in that one um, pocket. Um, and then I also do the same thing for OF Plastics. And I also, if the model comes with any hang tags or information, like I bought some Peter Stone models, I saved the hang tags for those. Um, I bought a model from a member of Region 10 who passed away, so I kept that information. Um, you know, Peter Stone packing slips, um, anything from Briar, any, anything from um, dealers. I also save um, like my money orders for anything that I've paid for from the bank. But I keep everything. Um, there's no particular order of like dates or anything like that. I just write the models on here. Again, I don't have so many models that it's um, unbearable to deal with and it's usually pretty easy to find everything I have. But if you do have a lot of models, um, you can also use this instead of doing it how I did it and do it alphabetically. You can either do it by um, the mold name, um, the model name, or um, your show name. You could even do it by you know who you bought it from, alphabetical order. But um, this is just, you know, uh, one way that you can um, 
save all your receipts and organize them as well as your um, hang tags and the back of your boxes. Hope you enjoyed.